Today's a good day, guys. Christmas came early this year. We got our Castle 110 pocket cutter. So this is a smaller version of the Castle machine that if you've been following this channel, you've probably seen me use before. That's this bad boy right here. This is the TSM-12. This is the 110. I don't know what all those numbers even mean, but I'll leave the Castle website at the top of the description. You guys can click it and check it out if you're interested. But these machines right here, I'm just telling you right off the bat, they are the best. I mean, I've been through some pocket cutters. This is not sponsored, by the way. Let me just say that up front. I've been through Craig. I've been through Porter Cable. That one was crazy. Um, <laughs> and I finally was like, you know what? I, I just scoured the internet. I'm like, I just need a professional pocket cutting machine. This popped up. I saw it and I was like, whoa. So I bought that thing. That was around, I believe, 1500 bucks. Like I said, I'll leave the link down there if you guys want to check it out. This one right here that we got was $660. So these are not cheap, but they're high quality, professional grade tools, efficient. It's, they're amazing. And funny story on this machine right here, I actually take this thing to job sites. It's kind of more of a shop tool, but it is small enough to take it on job sites. So this will be the new job site one. It's much more compact, but I had this, I was cutting some pockets and a guy came up to me and he's like, I, I didn't know John Deere makes woodworking tools. <laughs> so funny so when we first got this you can see right here like we looked at it and as you can see this color scheme here is just pure John Deere so what did I do I went to the internet and ordered some perfect fitting John Deere stickers for both sides of this I, I just had to do it and it just it kind of confuses people it's really funny so let me show you guys real quick how this one works if you have not seen me use it so essentially how this machine works guys two routers inside of there the bottom one that's kind of in this lower section is on a pivot so it comes up when you push this lever away from you so I'll push this away and you can see that bit just rise up out of the table that cuts the pocket and then the pre-drill is made by another router that's in this section and it just comes straight back that's done by pulling the lever towards you so it's really just a two motion thing we bust out pocket holes with this thing so quick i'll cut one right now but here's one in this piece of white oak this is an off cut from a sample that we had made for a customer this is set up for three quarters so i can just clamp my three quarter stock in there turn the machine on and go through those functions and i'll show you what comes out on the other side. That's how fast you can cut this professional grade pocket right there. You can see from our previous sample this piece of white oak was already screwed together and uh, you can see that pre-drill done by that top bit. So bottom bit cuts the pocket, top bit pre-drills and you are literally done that quick. So I love this thing so much. I was like, I need a more compact version of it, and they make the 110, so that's what brings us here today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open up this box and take a look at it. And I would like to say that I waited for you guys to unbox this, but I'll be honest, I peeked inside of it earlier. I, I, was, I couldn't wait. I didn't take everything out, but I did open it up, and look at this thing. She's a beaut. That's a gorgeous looking tool. Like you gotta admit, like tools main function is to perform a task, but when they can look good and perform a task at the same time, it's like 10 times better. So let's pull the unit out. Look at that, that is compact. I wonder if this thing could fit in a pack out drawer. That is sweet. They even got the little castle logo cut out of there. Dang, that looks sweet. And this thing's dusty because we were cutting some stuff in here earlier. And like I said, I peeked inside the box and didn't close it back all the way. So we'll set this here. I'll take all the accessories out and then we'll see how this thing works. So here's what we get inside this kit. I'm not gonna go into everything, but I will show you guys the highlights. You get two boxes of Castle pocket screws, which are the best on the market, by the way. Owner's manual, of course. Here's some accessories in here. They give you extra bits and wrenches to change out the router cutter bit and then they also give you this plate this is a reducer plate this will slide right here on the work deck really that's just to get you down to that that lower thickness
thickness of material. So that's what's in there. This is a rough cutting bit. Here you have your two work stops. This is for repeatable cuts and then this work stop attachment bar. So this thing, there's two squares going through the side of this machine right here. So one on this side and one on my side over here. So this bar right here will slide through that. I'll show you guys this real quick. That'll just pop in there and it locks in. There's a little cut in that metal bar. And then these work stops, these will slide on both sides, left and right stops. And these are adjustable with that knob there. So that's how those stops look. If you have repeatable cuts where you need the same cut over and over again and you want to max your efficiency out, you have that option as well. And it looks like these things are reversible so you can kind of get a little bit more room or get closer in the way they machined these. But I'm gonna take that off for now and that's kind of the general accessories of this thing. They did not have to put that castle in there. Like that just shows you they care. And that's a freaking awesome attachment right there. I'm a sucker for like beautiful looking tools. Like I stay up at nights on eBay just looking at old machines and tools and it's a good life. So now let's talk about the unit itself. It is corded, which you would want in a machine like this, and it is very compact as you can see. So here's how this thing works. You've got this clamp here on top, so this lifts up, and that will release your material. So when you have your material you want to clamp in place, you just push down on this. That clamping tension is adjusted by this knob right here. So if you're cutting half inch, three quarters, whatever it may be, you just adjust this knob to the proper tension for that workpiece. So we'll lift up on this, we'll slide this out. This came with the unit. You saw that when I unboxed it. And my other one over here, came with one as well. They throw this in there as a kind of like a QA type thing, quality assurance. They wanna make sure it works before they ship it to you. So we'll set that to the side. And then this right here, if you didn't wanna use those adjustable work stops that I just showed you how those attach on, you could use this metal bracket right here and this dials in right there is where your pocket is gonna be cut. Line it right up, clamp it down. So once you're in position like this, when it comes to cutting the actual pocket, you push down on this lever right here, and that brings up that same router bit that I showed you guys on that bigger machine. So I'll release this, pull this out, and you'll get to see that come up. It's popping up right there on the work table, and that will cut your pocket. So the difference with between this one, the reason this one is so compacted, because it doesn't have that other router over here to make that pilot hole for you. You would actually do that yourself with a drill. So they include this bit with the kit. We're just gonna grab this little M12 right here in the uh, spirit of everything being compact. And then on the back side of here, so once you cut your actual pocket, the pilot hole is then drilled out on this back side right here. So this hole right here is set from the factory so that it gives you that perfect pilot hole in your pocket right there. So those two functions are basically how you operate this machine. Another adjustment you could make to this is the web adjustment. That's this gauge right here. You can see it goes from one through five. So you loosen this nut, make this adjustment. And I really typically don't mess with that. That's for guys who wanna use different size screw links and change the web. And what the web is, is Castle calls the web the distance between the pocket and the end of the board. So from there to there, that is the web. I typically leave mine alone. I've never messed with that adjustment on this machine. And uh, I, I use typically inch and a quarter, inch and a half screws, depending on what we're doing. So that's your web adjustment. On the front here, you've got a dust port. On the sides, you can see this notch out right here. That's actually for a clamp, because as you can see, this thing isn't the sturdiest thing because it's so compact. So if you're gonna be working with this, you would definitely wanna clamp it down to a work surface, and they got a perfect spot for that there. And this thing's cool. You can carry it by this the clamp down handle right there. Just walk into a job with it looking like a freaking boss. Look at that, I'm just gonna walk in. What's up, ma'am? Yeah, I'm here to do your work. That's the general overview of this. So I've done enough talking, let's see it in action. Oh, one last thing before I plug it in. This slides off and you can see that router right there. So that's the internal of the machine. And then when I pull this lever down, you can see it's on a pivot inside there. So that screw right there 
is uh, holding that router in that pivot. And that's the same exact setup that you have here. There's a screw for that one. So let's make our first cut with this. Got a piece of scrap Windsor here. We cut a ton of pockets in this material. So this is a good example for us. So this is finger jointed pine. So I'll just line it up. It's where I would typically put a pocket, clamp it down in place and then hit it. So we got our pocket cut. We'll do our pilot hole. And we'll release it. That's sweet. Just like the big machine. Perfect pocket. Same webbing as our big machine too. Yeah, that's the same distance in the web. And then that pilot hole right in the center of the thickness of our material. Perfect setup. So one thing that came to mind that I didn't think about earlier. This right here is a dust port. You can see all that dust just kind of fall down. I'm gonna hook that up actually and see how good the dust collection is on this. Wow, it's, it's another moment where it's, it's such a fun tool to use, I just laugh. Like it's just like the exact same feeling I had when I got that one. Other tools make me feel this way too. It's like you, you're almost speechless. You're like, it's like those tools that solve a problem. They're like, it's like, where have you been all my life? And it, that's the exact same way I feel. I wanna see if this thing fits in a big pack out. One second. I'll wrap it up here and then we'll see if she fits over here. So I'm a big fan of these pack out containers. This is the two drawer. So we'll see if it fits in here. Oh man, look at that. We can take a pocket hole cutter, a professional pocket hole cutter in a pack out. So this is now my shop pocket hole cutter. This is now my job site one. Those guys are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> I just have this set up like that. So yeah, you guys wanna see something bust this out on a job? We're working with some, uh, some other carpenters this coming week. It's like two teams on one job. I'm just gonna bust that out and then blow their mind. So yeah guys, uh, pretty self-explanatory. This pocket machine does what it says it can do. It's efficient, it fits in storage systems. If it fits in pack out, which is my preference, it'll probably fit in the tough systems, sustainers, you could probably make it fit. But uh, yeah, this thing is amazing, cuts excellent pockets. I'll pull it back out. After cutting those on with the dust collection too, you can see there's not really any dust in there. That's probably from that initial one that I cut without the collection. But everything just falls down in there and that dust port just sucks it up. So there's my first initial impression of this thing. I'm super impressed. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll link the castle website down below if you guys want to check this out. I'll also link their YouTube channel. They got tons of instructional videos on there, which is where I learned about both of these machines really. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how this thing holds up over time. You will be seeing us use this on job sites from here on out. So thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.